Hello and welcome to my League of Legends roundup for week 5, day 1, Valentine's Day, February 14th. All we have today is the LPL to go over. If you missed it, my LPL power rankings are out. I put them out last night. Well, this morning they uh, ended processing so I could publish them properly. Um, so, these teams have, uh, some have changed in the power rankings and some did not. Game, I do this for all four major regions. I take notes on the games. Um, save me the time of watching, say, a 39-minute game, 40-minute game. I give you the gist of how it ended up being 24-10 to 10 or 26-16. to 16. Who won? The MVP of the series, the key players, um, stuff like that. So, Series 1, FPX is 8th place. Ultra Prime is 13th in my power rankings. This went to three games. Obviously, both series went to three games. Game one was a 29-minute affair where FPX would start the game off by diving bot lane and getting a 2-0 with Gory on Galio double kill. That power in the bot lane gave them a 2v2 kill a couple minutes later as well. After the reset, Ultra Prime would take the ocean. Ultra Prime would then go bot lane and even it out, getting two kills themselves. So at 10 minutes, it's 3-2 to two in kills, but because FPX did all that work in the bot lane in the early game, and it took so long for Ultra Prime to try and get some kills back, FPX were up 2.5k gold. Both teams would then exchange kills at 11 minutes and 13 minutes. In between these pick plays, Ultra Prime would win a fight in the river 2-0, Elk with a double kill. FPX would then take a cloud. 18 minutes, there's a skirmish that went one-to-one. -one. The teams traded kills. FPX would then take a mountain. So, 23 minutes, it's 6-6 six to six now. Both teams are even because Ultra Prime had went in the river, got two kills, were even, even, able to even things out. Um, FPX were up 1k gold and up in Drake's. 25 minutes, the first real significant team fight um, went 2-2. Two two. FPX were able to go to Mountain Soul Point off of it, crying with a double kill. 26 minutes, there was a fight that went 2-2 two two, where Ultra Prime were able to take the Baron. After that Baron subsided, there was a fight um, that went 5-1. to one. FPX coming out on top, Gory with a double kill. Because the death timers were so high, FPX were able to end off of that fight. Game 2, uh, 40 minutes, like I said, this is a longer game. 34 total kills. Ultra Prime would get a 2v2 kill early on in the game. Then there would be a skirmish in bot lane that went 1-1. One to one, And then Ultra Prime would go mid a, a minute later. So in the first 6 minutes we have 3 instances of action occurring. Ultra Prime would then take a cloud after getting the mid prio. FPX would take the Rift Herald at 9 minutes. Ultra Prime would punish them for that getting a kill. So at 10 minutes Ultra Prime are up 4-1 to one, but only 1k gold. 12 minutes Ultra Prime would take a Hextech Drake. FPX would punish them getting a kill. 14 minutes, Ultra Prime would then go mid to be able to get Pryo to get Rift Herald. So Ultra Prime figured, let's go mid lane, let's help Crying out, let's get Gory back underneath this turret to take a lot of objectives. They did it for a Drake, they did it for a Rift Herald. 18 minutes, Ultra Prime already are going to Mountain Soul Point after winning a fight 5-1. to one, In which case, what do I have written here? I don't even know who had a double kill. Who had a double kill for Ultra Prime? Who would have had a double kill? I don't even... I, I It's escaping me. Ultra Prime. Who, someone had a double kill. It wasn't Crying and it wasn't Elk. Um, it wasn't ZDZ. So who's the jungler for Ultra Prime? Oh my gosh. Or, or yeah. They, whoever the jungler is for Ultra Prime, they had two kills. It's going to come to me eventually and I'm just going to randomly say, Oh, this person's the one who did it. They had two kills. So at 26 minutes, at 20 minutes, sorry, Ultra Prime are up 11 to 3, 4K gold, and Elk is 4, 1, and 4 on the um, Jinx. So he's very dominant. FPX would then start crawling back into the game, getting a couple kills in the mid and the jungle, getting a mountain so they stop the dragon stacking. They're able to take and steal a Baron at 26 minutes, getting a kill to do so, getting another kill, going up 1.5K gold. During that Baron and after it subsided, Ultra Prime were able to win a fight 2-1 to take Mountain Soul. However, at this point, FPX had a 3k gold lead. Luckily, it was 30 minutes into the game. That gold lead isn't as massive as it would have been, say, at 15 minutes. But FPX has have now made this a game. 
Um, 33 minutes, FPX take the Baron after getting a pick. Ultra Prime would punish them 4-1 afterwards, crying with a quadra kill on LeBlanc. So now the game really went back into the favor of Ultra Prime, and Ultra Prime would never look back. They took a Elder, and then they would win a fight after the Elder subsided 5-0 in mid, Elk with a triple kill. So final score 24-10. The score doesn't indicate how close that game was, because up till 30 minutes it was anyone's game. Game 3, very lopsided, 23-5. Um, FPX threw the first punch going bot lane, which benefited them, getting LWX ahead early, and he never looked back. Um, Ultra Prime would go mid lane, trying to help Crying out. Six minutes, FPX take the Infernal after getting a kill. Nine minutes, they win a fight 2-0. LWX with both kills to get the Rift Herald. By ten minutes, they're up 2.5k gold. Ultra Prime go top lane. FPX respond by going down bot to get the Ocean. Um, Fifteen minutes... FPX, uh, Rift Herald, no, FPX are up 5k gold by 15 minutes. So, from 10 minutes to 15 minutes, they were able to get a couple of, one pick, take a Drake, and now we're up 5k. 17 minutes, they're already at Mountain Soul Point, winning a fight 4-2. Jahalu with a double kill. Um, 21 minutes, FPX win a fight 4-0 to be able to take the Baron, LWX with two kills. Now they're up 10k gold. I mean, 10k gold at 21 minutes is insane um 23 minutes during that baron fpx take the mountain soul winning a fight 4-1 lwx with a triple kill they end the game 4-0 in mid shortly thereafter final score 23-5 lwx ends up being mvp when i decide mvp a lot of it has to do with how you show up in game three um if it gory had played i mean gory obviously played well they won 23-5 but if gory was getting like half of these kills gory might have been mvp because of his performance in game one and him playing a crucial part in their win at that time. But game three in its um, by itself, LWX was the MVP. Game two of the day, series two, we had Team Wii, last place in my power rankings. And LGD is this week's rare atom for me in that I ranked them too high because they don't, haven't played for a while. And they're not good. They lost to the winless Team Wii. Um, two to one. Game 1 was probably the lowest scoring and slowest LPL game I've ever watched. Um, I, I can't believe there was a 15 kill LPL game in 35 minutes. Um, that just shows that both teams don't know what they're doing. So, Team Wee would swap out View for Bishang. And, uh, I mean, I don't think View is a problem. I don't think... I, I They have bigger problems than, than View. But, nevertheless... Uh, Team Wii take a cloud in the early game, a slow early game in games one and game two. Uh, LGD would then go mid, get a kill at eight minutes for the first blood. Nine minutes, Team Wii would go top. Um, at 12 minutes, Team Wii would go top again, so they're really trying to affect the top lane matchup. In doing so, LGD go bot lane to um, get the mountain. 18 minutes, LGD then finally go top lane and answer all the uh, prio that we had built up up there. And as you see here, um, if you can, there are four light blue lines which indicate the next four fights happened around Hex Texel. For the next 20 minutes, there was only these four instances of anything happening. And the first two weren't even fights. Team Wii were able to go to Hex Texel point uncontested, taking one and then two. So, uncontested. 29 minutes, LGD would take a Hex Tech because they had to stop this. They couldn't allow Team Wii to take a Hex Texel. They won the fight 3-2 to do so. Shadow with a triple kill on Viego. Uh, 35 minutes, they had to fight again because Team Wii were going to take the Hextech Soul. LGD were able to take the Drake to prevent that from happening, but got punished 3-0 on the turn. Bu Bu gives a double kill on Kennen with the ultimate. Ends the game. 9-6, they were able to end because the game was 35 minutes at that point. Death timers were high. Um, and, I mean, it was, it was the end. So Team Wii come out victorious in Game 1. Game 2, very different than Game 1. We see 42 kills instead of 15. Um, slow early game again. Team Wii take an Infernal. 9 minutes is the first action where Team Wii would uh, win a fight 3-2 in a bot dive. Jing Zing with a uh, double kill. Jing? Maybe Jing? I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to say Jing with a double kill. LG, LGD would then take a mountain after the reset. 
12 minutes, Team Lee would go top, getting, I mean, no, LGD would go top, getting two um, kills. They go top and mid at the same time at 12 minutes, so LGD are very active. Um, 15 minutes, Team Lee would then go top. 16 minutes, LGD would get a triple kill on Eric in mid in a 3-1 team fight win. Eric was a monster in game two. Team Lee would take a cloud after the reset, so now it's 2-1 to one in Drake's. 19 minutes, Eric would end up with another triple kill, and Buby would end up with a double kill in a skirmish that went 4-2. to two. Um, But nothing's on the rift because it's 19 minutes. So at 20 minutes, LGD are up 11-8, 2.5k gold, and Eric is 7-1-1 one one on the, jink, on the uh, Athelios. He is disgusting right now. Um... LGD would then take a cloud, so it's 2-2 two two in Drake's, 25 minutes, LGD would win a fight 2-0, um, and then also get another pick, so they were trying to take the Baron, Team Lee were um, harassing them, so LGD were able to get up to 5k gold um, in terms of a lead by getting these kills and Baron dancing. Finally, at 27 minutes, Eric would end up with a double kill for them to be able to take the Baron, which pushed their goal lead to 7k. LGD would go to Cloud Soul Point during that Baron. By 30 minutes, they had an 8k gold lead after the Baron subsided. At 31 minutes, um, Team Wee would make a stand as LGD tried to end through top. Um, Jing would have a triple kill in that fight to prevent it from happening. So both AD carries are back and forth, back and forth in this game. LGD takes the Cloud Soul after the reset. They take a Baron. Um, Team Wee would then make a second stand in mid lane. Jing with a, a triple kill. So he showed up again. Two triple kills. He ends up being MVP because he played a big role in this game. I give him a ton of credit for making a stand twice. And then also he played a big role in game three. Excuse me. LG would finally end at 39 minutes. 5-3. to three, Eric with a triple kill. Both AD carries played very well in this series. Um. I don't know how much that has to do with just the team's abilities, you know, how, how good the teams are in general, but both AD carries showed up. Game three, the first instance of anything occurring was at four minutes where Team Wee would get a pick and then also get a 2v2 kill, so they were able to get up two kills early. LGD go top lane, Team Wee end up responding by taking a cloud on the other side of the rift. Team Wee would then get a pick, use that prio to get Notion, both teams would then go top lane, and this is all occurring before 15 minutes. So there's a lot of action in the early game, very different than game one and game two. Both teams want to make sure the top lane matchup is um, going in their favor. By 15 minutes, there's a fight that went four to three. Shanks and Yeg with two kills each. Team Wee would go to Hextech Soul Point before 17 minutes. So they are really emphasizing we are going to take these drakes and we are not going to falter doing so 17 minutes lgd would get a 2-0 team fight win to get the rift herald after dropping that rift herald team we would win a fight 4-2 in top jing with dub a double kill by 20 minutes team we are up 12 to 8 3k gold and jing is 5-1-1 one, one. so where did all these kills come from because all i mentioned him once was a double kill well you have to factor in that 2v2 kill at four minutes they had a pick at four minutes they had a pick at seven minutes they had three, um, two kills that I did not address at 15 minutes. So imagine he is participating in all these fights and doing something. At 21 minutes, Team Wee win a fight 3-0 to take the Baron. They have a 6K gold lead. In doing so, LGD stopped the Drake stacking. They take a hex tech with their other two members on the other side of the rift. 24 minutes, Team Wee win a fight 5-3 in mid, which gives them a 10K gold lead. And then they win at 26 minutes, 5-1 in mid. Shanks with a triple kill to end it on Oriana. Shanks played very well in Game 3 as well. I could have made him MVP. But I felt like Game 2, I really, really liked what I saw out of Zhang in Game 2. I thought he, he did a very good job in trying to prevent the end when the game was out of hand. I mean, it was a real good performance out of him in Games 2 and Game 3. So... Thank you for watching this video where I covered the LPL and uh, it's part of my League of Legends roundup for February 14th. Tomorrow will be more LPL coverage. If you, Like I said, if you missed my power rankings, they came out earlier today. My LCK power rankings will come out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.